Hi. So um, this is our FileMaker uh, 11 free calendar template. This is an unlocked um, bit of code that you can paste into your own solutions and point at your events table to get this, you know, month, week, and day view. Um, it's, uh, it's been very popular for us. Uh, and it's kind of a neat way to learn some uh, FileMaker code. But what I want to show you today is our FileMaker 12 version. So this is the 12 version of our free calendar. And again, it's free and completely unlocked. And um, you can use it. it. might be all the calendars some people need, or it's a great way to see if maybe our pro calendar would work for you. But it's also kind of a cool way to learn some things about FileMaker, and in particular, to learn some stuff about 12, or at least it's a great file to play with with 12. And I just want to show you a few of the things that we're most excited about. Um, one of them is that it's just kind of a nice look. It's a, a nice look and feel. Um, we can do these gradients and stuff natively. We have these hovers, right, as I move my cursor over these fields. You get a little hover in the background. I, I thought that was kind of silly at first, but it really does make the app feel a lot more contemporary and responsive. You know, I know if I'm about to push a button because I'm kind of hovering over it, which is cool. Um, we can also make these kind of beautiful switches. Um, it's not like that's built into 12, but it's so much easier to do stuff like that in 12. Um, and there's this great stuff around tabs. You know, our FileMaker 11 calendar, we have these hidden tabs here. Well, not only do we not have hidden tabs, these are just native um, tab controls in FileMaker 12. But um, you can click on tabs in layout mode and they work. And, uh, and if you're on a tab in browse mode and you go into layout mode, that's the tab you're on in layout mode, which is great. So it's just, it's making a lot of things simpler. But the thing that I think is really simpler is the code behind the calendar. Um, in our FileMaker 11 version, we're using a technique called virtual list. We use that here too. And what's involved really is you find all the events that you want to show and you write them to a variable. And that's the way the FileMaker 12 calendar works too. I just kind of want to show you what that script looks like in 11 and what it looks like in 12. Um, so here's what's happening in 11. It's kind of a long script. You don't, we don't need to go into what, what's happening here, but just kind of look at how much code is involved here. Uh, we write the header of our variable. And then um, we have to build our find request. All this is building our find request. And that's a date range find request. And then we have to perform the find, trap for errors. Um, we have to sort a separate script just to sort the FileMaker events. And these are scripts that people have to edit when they integrate our calendar. Um, and then we loop through all the events. And then we have a separate script to write that event into our variable. Um, I'm very, very proud of that code. And it's, it's fairly easy for somebody new to FileMaker to modify. But it is a lot of lines. It's a lot of lines of code. Um, so here's what it looks like in 12. Uh, there's the parent script. It's very short. Um, here's the script that actually does the work. Um, we load up the fields that you're going to use. We write a SQL query. We execute the SQL query. Most of the script is our, our beautiful little trap for if there are errors. Um, then we write a second query if there are no errors. This is an interesting thing we'll probably talk about in a separate uh, blog post or video. Um, running two queries gives us smaller arrays to parse, so the calendar's a little faster. And um, then we're done. Um, what's really cool about that is it's, it's less code, right? Which means the software is just easier to modify. There's less going on. And all that happens in on-screen windows. In FileMaker 11, we were going off-screen a lot. Um, and so all that stuff would happen off-screen. It gets a little hard to debug sometime. So this is like the SQL introduces a substantial simplification in the calendar. It makes the calendar easier to work on. And, um, and for very, very large calendars, like more than 10,000 events a month, it makes the calendar faster. So we're pretty excited about it. I hope you'll um, download this file, uh, poke around in it. It's kind of a great way to start goofing around with a file in 12. And if you use virtual lists, um, it's nice to see how we do them in SQL um, and how we do them in FileMaker 12 because they get a lot simpler. Uh, if, you're not, if you're new to virtual lists, the reason we do that is because in virtual lists, this lets this whole view uh, be a portal instead of being like 42 portals, uh, as you might see in a traditional calendar. And that means that our relationship graph is uh, still incredibly simple and that the calendar is not actually connected uh, to the events. Um, virtual list lets us do that. Uh, SQL makes it easier. And I think all that gets easier in FileMaker 12. Uh, so I hope you'll check it out. Thanks.